Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Ashrak Vox, and oh my god, Heart of the Crystal Gems. Guys, I'm just so excited for it. But in the midst of all this chaos that's happening, I mean, corrupted gems, a diamond attack, angsty sapphire, I can't help but to wonder, where's Lapis? Who's Lapis? Why is Lapis? The last time we saw Lapis and can't go back, she ran away after Steven tapped into one of his mother's memories on the moon base, informing Lapis that he saw the diamonds, but he was too stunned from Pearl holding Rose's sword to really make sense of it all explain to Lapis, no, wait, it was in the past. So Lapis, with her worst fears coming true, decided to flee once again. And it looks like she wasn't in the wrong because here the diamonds are. If the events of Can't Go Back took a completely different turn, and Steven calmly explained what happened to Lapis, and then he went back to Earth, then found out Rose's pink diamond, Lapis would be in a completely different timeline. But no, here they are. And is our water witch gonna miss out on the fun? Well, there's a few ideas I have, one of which I know is already going around, and I just want to put out there in case any of them come to fruition. So of course, spoiler warning if our predictions end up too on the nose. If you want to avoid spoilers, click off now, and let's just jump into it. Now the first possibility I want to explore, the one I know everyone's probably thinking, and would probably play into the whole history repeats itself angle, is the idea that Lapis would once again be captured by Homeworld, but this time directly by the Diamonds. That when she fled this time, she was spotted, captured, brought to the Diamonds, interrogated, and they forced the truth out of her, Rose Quartz is back on Earth, and that's what brings the diamonds to Beach City. Now, while I could see this, I personally don't believe that's the route they're going to take. Not even that it's too easy or anything of the sort, but because I'm in love with the idea of Lars coming back to Earth, and because Emerald stated she can track the Sun Incinerator, the diamonds see, wait a minute, a bunch of off colors and an impersonator steal a ship after Rose Quartz goes missing, and they set their course to Earth? Something's not right here. While again, Lapis getting captured does make sense, it is established that gems of the same cut look alike. It's not like the diamonds right recognize Ruby and Sapphire and that'll be all. And from what we could gather in the return, Jasper and Peridot were the ones who interrogated Lapis. So I don't think other homeworld gems would recognize her as the Lapis who went on the Earth mission. I think if any other homeworld gem saw a Lapis Lazuli out in space, they either wouldn't question it or just be like, hey, you need to ride back to homeworld? But personally, I think they'd be stretching it just a little bit to have Lapis captured again and here she is. You guys get it. But let's move on to possibility number two. Lapis has a self-fulfilling moment and stands for the crystal gems against the diamonds, coming into the battle when people least expect it. I mean, if she is out in space, even if she is in hiding, or let's say she does go back to the moon base, I do think it's possible she would notice the diamond ships coming towards Earth. Scared and nervous out of her mind, she'll think about Steven, she'll think about Paradox, she'll think about her life there, and finally say, all right, no more running away. I don't want to be alone. And I'd rather die fighting with my friends and lose than go on without them for the rest of my life. And personally, I do think this is the most likely. While it's cliche, it pretty much lines up with Lapis's art. If Lapis just returns to the moon base and with the observation orb, she could see, oh my god, the diamonds are there. I need to get to them ASAP. And considering Lapis seems to travel at light speed because she seems to get from point A to point B pretty fast, she could get there before the fight's over. And oh my god, imagine Lapis just throwing the barn at the diamonds. And what if, what if the barn went out that way? Just hurling at the diamonds. No, it's not gonna do much, but I don't like that barn. I don't like it one bit. And the third option, something I speculated before, but it's looking less likely. Perhaps Lars and the off colors run to Lapis in space. And if Lars does return in these episodes prior to the diamond attack, Lapis would already be there. But I would hate if Lars and Lapis had some kind of talk off screen that Steven wasn't there for. And I have more faith in the crew than that, so that actually may not be it. Oh well, all the parallels between Lapis and Lars were good, but if there's no payoff, at least not right now, it'll be A-OK -okay if we get something even better instead. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. How do you think Lapis is going to come back into the fray? Let us know in the comments below or tweet them directly to me at Ostrich Fox. We're at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. You can also let us know on Stardust. Link to that in the description. If you want to help the Roundtable grow, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, out.